welcome. I'm Kelly Kearney with Starry Constellation Magazine, and with me today from the new action-packed crime drama, what a thriller this was, Duchess actor Colin Eggersfield. Welcome, Colin. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thanks for having me, Kelly. Absolutely. From the director of beloved films like Dog Soldiers and The Descent comes this action-packed drama. It's a crime thriller. It's messy. It's gory. It's got this mob movie feel to it. Duchess, directed by Neil Marshall. You play Tom in the film. How mm -hmm. does Tom fit into this world without giving too much away? So I play Robert's best friends, and he and I have a very successful diamond smuggling business. And we get to travel the world and drive really cool cars and uh, live the, you know, the high life of extravagance and amazing pink suits and green jaguars. <laughs> And then along the way, Rob ends up finding the love of his life, which then always seems to just mess things up. And, you know, Tom is just trying to make sure that uh, the business stays on track and that we are, you know, we're continuing to be productive. And uh, things happen where Tom feels that he needs to step in and make things right. So look out. Look out. We don't want to give too much away, but you're right about the extravagance. Some of the, the places that you filmed, the cars that you drove were fantastic. That must have been wonderful to kind of get into that uh, diamond smuggling kind of uh, tax bracket. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, nice. it was definitely fun. And to be shooting in the Canary Islands was a dream oh. come true as well. Yeah. Yeah, that's very nice. It's very nice. From the opening minutes of Duchess, it's clear the film is just not for the faint of heart. It is right away bloody. It's got these quirky edits. It's blood-soaked. It's violent. It's got this Guy Ritchie, Quentin Tarantino aesthetic to it. That's kind yeah. of like a new vamp of that. Uh, yeah. It's got this London vibe to it, which is a little different than maybe we're used to. What drew mm -hmm. you to the script and made you want to kind of sign on to the project? What was that? that moment that you're like, yeah, I want to do this. Yeah, Kelly, actually, I, I think you hit it spot on. Like, just to be able to, to play in this uh, fun collaboration with all these this cast of, uh, of ruffians and gangsters. And, uh, you know, I've always been a fan of, of Guy Ritchie and Quentin Tarantino. And so uh, to be able to play in this the, wor the world of these uh, underworld diamond smugglers and... Um, to uh, to really explore the grittiness and the the dark side of of a character where I normally get, I play romantic comedy characters and so that's the fun part of of acting to be able to just play you know this this fun character that has a, a duality to him where on the outside he's affable he's likable he's a cool guy um, but if you cross him over you can see how dangerous he can be and uh, I think Neil did a really amazing job of creating this, this really interesting world of, um, of these dangerous um, these dangerous scenarios of what it's really like if you do play in this world that most of us don't ever get to really explore. And Charlotte did an amazing job of just of, uh, of bringing Scarlett to life and, and uh, this really empower, playing this really empowering character of um, – of prevailing through like i mean she goes through so much during this film yeah. and to see her just keep fighting and the the will that she has and the spirit that she has to keep going to fight for what she believes in is really inspiring yeah you know i mentioned that the film was brutal and gory and kind of action-packed but it's also hysterical there are parts that i was just laughing out loud a standout moment for me was when we met the boss lady, Charlie, played by Stephanie Beecham, fantastic actress. Your character manages to avoid that bloody meeting with Charlie, but uh, Tom is involved in other sort of numerous action uh, sequences. Did you have to do any sort of preparation for this role? Did you do some scene fighting? Did you do some gun training or any kind of fight training? Yeah, so I, I'm not someone who grew up shooting guns, so whenever I have to play a character that, that you know, uses a gun, uh, they've always got the, um, the firearms expert on set, too. So I made sure that I yeah, worked with them and try to make this thing as realistic as possible so it looks like, you know, obviously I know how to handle a weapon. Right. Um, but then also we did some fight training with this really great stunt 
crew in Spain uh, to get us ready for the fight sequences. Uh, man, I'm telling you, my body was so beat up, and I, I had to go to a chiropractor a few times after this movie because my neck was so sore from getting punched in the face by, by, by uh, Charlotte's character. Um, but it's fun, man. It's, it's, uh, all, the amount of fake blood that we went through was, was crazy. Um, and just to be able to play, delve into the world of this, you know, the psychological um, wittiness and uh, the, the psychological adversarialness of these two characters um, combined the best of both the mental and the physical um, uh, conflict of both of these characters, which is fun to play. Yeah, and and you know, it is like there is a lot of one-liners in this that really cracks me up between Charlie and Scarlett, the ladies, they both deliver some of the most humorous, possibly filthy, but very memorable one-liners. Do you have a favorite one-liner from this movie? Because I have a few. I mean, my favorite line is, you've got some balls on you, princess. <laughs> and then she, she like, sarcastically yeah. corrects me and says, it's Duchess. And it's like, yeah, and then the we see what happens. That, sir. Yeah. Yeah, she. Uh, yeah, that was that was my favorite quote. Yeah, that's so funny. You know, speaking of lead character Scarlet, played by Charlotte Kirk, she transforms this working class petty thief um, into a badass kind of anti heroine feminist character after this con job goes wrong in the beginning of the film. This marks Charlotte's third uh, film in collaboration with Neil Marshall, but it's her first time co writing with him. What was it like working with the two of them, and what kind of energy did they bring to set as director, actress, and writers of the script? It was really cool because um, I've known Charlotte for years. We did a movie together with Bruce Willis called Vice uh, years ago. Oh, yeah. And so we just stayed in touch, and then she just uh, reached out to me and said that her and Neil had written the script, and would I like to take a look at it? And what was cool is I, I, you know, I gave some notes early on in, in uh, script writing, um, and we did like three passes of the script, um, and I just gave my notes on each of the different passes. And then um, working on this together, I, I really didn't. Ex I mean, I, ideally, I, I, you know, I wanted to play in the movie, but I think this is one of the things where the more that you just help people out um, because you love what you do and because you care about the people that you know you work with, um, they said, you know what, we you know, there's this role that we think you'd be right for. And I was like, game on, man. And when I jumped on, um, what was great about working with them was that um, I was able to uh, incorporate some of uh, my own additional um, uh, fleshing out of Tom and uh, the dialogue. So the monologue that I have with Rob, where I explain why I am betraying him, I actually wrote that and... Um, and uh, Neil incorporated that into the script because I just felt like there needed to be a little more explanation of why Rob's best friend would turn on him without really explaining why he would necessarily do this. So it was cool to work with them because they were very collaborative um, um, and just you know fun to just be on set with. I mean, what was great about this was that there was really uh, it was kind of like friends just coming together with uh, with a video camera and just being like, all right, guys, let's let's just start shooting and create some stuff and see what happens. And it feels like um, the comfort of that maybe allowed more freedom for you to collaborate on the character and be like, now that I'm in Tom's shoes, I kind of have an idea of what maybe how he would react. And that yeah. collaboration really does leave a comfort for actors to be able to be yeah. free in their performance. So I was like, I was like, Charlotte, do you mind if, like, I'm going to punch you here. I'm going to punch you in the stomach here. <laughs> then I'm going to, like, throw you up against the wall. You cool with that? Oh, yeah, sure. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> That's fantastic. You know, the action yeah. sequences, like you're talking about, the Duchess, it, they look incredible. The gore is delightfully over the top. Um, perfect for horror fans, actually, that love Neil Marshall's films. Um, was there a particular scene that stood out for you that was maybe challenging to um, film or maybe a lot of fun to film? Yeah, the scene where I have Scarlett tied up to the chair, and I'm trying to get the information from her. And so what was fun about that was that it's a mix of, um, of psychological and physical conflict in terms of me trying to um, 
outwit her, and Tom is very prideful, and he considers himself extremely intelligent, coming from yeah. the military and the special forces. And then he, at first, is like, you know, asking Rob why he's wasting his time with this this white trash girl from, the, you know, like the trashiest part of London. Yeah. And as I start to get to know her a little better, I start to like realize like she's a force to be reckoned with. And then that just then turns into uh, the physical part of it. So it was, that was the most challenging, but also the most fun in terms of how can I be as intimidating as possible without physically necessarily being intimidating, but psychologically trying to get under her skin to scare her enough um, and the audience enough to the point where we start to see that Tom might be a little, um, a little bit of a sociopath. So yeah. I like to play on the verge of, okay, is this guy all there? Or is there something like a little bit off about this guy? So I like to keep um, the other actors and the audience guessing of truly like who my characters are. Uh -huh. Yeah, that comes off in there. And uh, especially uh, his how he prides himself on his intelligence. Uh, certainly in that scene, that was, a, was an excellent scene. Uh, I have to ask about the pet tiger. Uh, was it real or was it, was it a real on set or was it uh, CGI, green screen and all of that, Hollywood magic? So we originally were shooting with hyenas and oh. on the day of the hyenas coming and coming to set, we put them in the pit and we put like chicken meat in there. And I mean, it was like, <laughs> you think of hyenas, like they're very rabid and just like, and they were just kind of like docile and it was almost like someone gave them a Xanax or something. <laughs> And so we were trying to like, you know, get them riled up a little bit, but they just were, they were not as like aggressive as we needed them to be. So in post-production, they went ahead and, you know, honestly, I'm not sure if they, if that's a real tiger or if it's a CGI tiger, um, but that was the, the reason why we ended up with a tiger instead of hyenas. Well, that's interesting. I'm amazing that they weren't so docile. I can imagine everyone yeah. was like, come on, do something. Do yeah, something. exactly. Yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. Um, is there a chance we'll see a sequel to this? Because the end left it open that there could be. Maybe. Yeah, I I don't see why there wouldn't be. Um, you know, I hopefully people resonate with this and they they resonate with Charlotte's character. Um, they want to see her go on into uh, what she can do to create this the her the diamond empire into uh, what it could be and to see what other kind of crazy characters would try to come and take her down. Well, what's next for you, Colin? Are you working on any other projects uh, the fans can keep in look out for? Yeah, I just shot a movie in Montana called Where the Wind Blows. Nice. And that's going to be coming out in February. It's based on a book by Caroline Fife, set in 1890 in, in Wyoming. So it's kind of a bit of a Western um, cowboy love story. Horseback riding, something you're good at? No. Unfortunately, <laughs> I didn't have to ride any horses in the movie. 